welcome to my official Smash Brothers Wii U review. Now let's get into this. Now, Smash Brothers for Wii U was, is super fun. It's been out for a week and two days now. Yeah, oh, three days since it came out at midnight at Friday. So yeah, three days. If I get this up a little bit. But anyway, some moves that are iffy that I got to talk about right away before anyone asks is the online and even the actual like I in Smash Bros. Now the online, I really can't say if it's good or bad because it's good for me because I have a good connection. But when playing with somebody who doesn't have a strong, as strong as a connection, it's going to be laggy. But that's like with all games on you know, Xbox and PlayStation. And so pretty much it just depends on how great of internet you got uh, for this mode. Well, on my mode. If you got good internet, it should work fine with you. Most of you're playing with somebody who has only like two bars of internet. Or if you're playing with people who else have good internet, it, it just needs to stay on it. The other thing, now let's go on to this Smash Bros. Now, now, I can't give an exact opinion on this because I only played each of these boards once and that's just that I lost the Pac-Man stage, the pac old stage, I think that's what it But I was going to do it by myself. So I can't give a official opinion um, from me just playing it by myself. I did not like it. But when I play Mario Party by myself or uh, Fortune Street by myself, you know, it's still not fun, you know. You know, by yourself, and was, you know, you're unlocking them, like how this I did how much pac man did, like Mario Party, you do the unlock back stages and the characters and all that. So, yeah, um, yeah, um, doing, doing this, um, with friends, I cannot explain it because my sister has come over a couple times, but she never wanted to do this because she said it was stupid and she always says that. She heard on some of my streams before, so yeah. I can't give a official opinion. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. I'm not gonna criticize anyone. Now let's go. Before I go into the major stuff, uh, let's go. Now we're in like detailed, detailed stuff. We're gonna um just go into people and there's the eight player smash also, which is fun. It is fun. I'm not even just saying that. Uh, and also, I like how you can customize the characters. In this one, I also change for the customized characters that you do in your, that you got in the PBS version over here. Like how I got my Mario with the small fireballs and a huge hammer and the um, little of flood that shoots up more water and it like has more power to it so your opponent gets far away. Mario! Isn't it? And I like this customization stuff because it adds a whole new element to your gameplay. Because it's like, because it's like, um, what I say? It, it, if you don't like the character or like how you like them, and then you have the customization, it's like, oh, cool. But how I said before, I like if you're the PBS version, if you're always on the go, I recommend just doing Smash Run or um, Classic Mode on the PBS version. You just get the chance bag on that version, then just playing the mobile. But you know, if you don't have the CDS version, you know, it's still able to do on here, obviously. You know, why won't they make it do over here? Oh, he's in the right now. Okay, now, one thing, one thing that I am pretty disappointed there with this game is the stage selection. Because even though it has the biggest roster, it all, at the same time, it, it also has the smallest roster. Because Let's just take out um, the battlefield big, the uh, battlefield big battle big big battlefield and uh, the in the final destination stage. Because I know big battlefield was made for well, this. What is the same as battlefield as well as Because technically, you know, these two class three now, you know, have been in all the same games. So let's talk about the new stages. There's this Mario one. There's this Mario one from Nissan Mario U. Mario Galaxy. That's the old one already. Old one. There's Donkey Kong. There's the Donkey Kong one. Uh, there's that uh, Metroid one that I skipped over. No, there we go. There's this one that's new. 
this Mario, this Mario Kart 8 one is new. No, Zelda's new. Zero's not new. The Star Fox is new, and that's old, that's old. That's old. And Yoshi's Holy War is new. I think that's the last stage besides the Pokemon we fit. We fit one Palatine Temple um, comes out, and um, the Wahoo Wuhu Island and Pilot Wing. And you know this, just the song one. This one, it, you guys could choose if this one's new or not, because this one is technically on the three days version. It's the exact same post. So it's new if you never played the three days version, but if you have played it, it's sort of old, so I don't know, it's, it's up to you in this one's game. So, yeah, the reason that they made new stages is because after last is all old stages, I know there's that Smash Bill that's new, but it's the same as the Animal Crossing one, basically, because that's just a, like a little hint of detail. That's only something that's different. So, yeah, I see all the last of stages. It's so disappointing of how there's not that many new ones, like the few days back. And if the customizing stages, it is so much harder now to customize your stage because you're drawing stuff and now now everything takes up weight instead of dream like it did in the last one. Or oh, how much memory you had on your SD card. That's the last one you can add treadmills, ice blocks, um, spikes, uh, some other stuff that I forget falling blocks and and more stuff that no, you can look you can look up what be. Oh and Fierce Blues, that's what I was saying. I'm sure there's probably some some other stuff I agree now. Oh yeah, there's ladders and there's two that you get. But this I know, it it just feels disappointing right now. I'm I hope they do an update that they can make it like how it was in Super Smash Brothers Brawl. You know like you know, like you could actually change it so the terrain is different. Because you only got a total of five backgrounds. You got the space one. You got the... You got the sunset one. You got this, um, crystal, uh, ocean one that I like about. You got this yellow one. And there's the other one, but this is like a normal background, so... I just thought, I bet I didn't know my face is not it. It is normal background. So yeah, um, stages, yeah, I wish there would have been more A player Smash. Now, a player Smash. the only bad part about having A players on is, let me show you, um, uh, come on, okay, is that, um, come on, Half the stages all blocked off. Now I can get, you know, you know, like how these stages, you know, some of these stages all blocked off. You know, kids are like, okay, yeah, they're too small, so we can't put them in there. But how is how is this one and also Yoshi's Island how they a put smash material? You guys saw eight people on this on these two courses. There was no way. Well, a players to fit on these two. Well, they can, but if they can't fit on this one, like why can't they fit on? Anyway, see, but if there's big battlefield up here, I just noticed. This. Why is your little battlefield still on here? You know, what's the point of making another battlefield if this battlefield is still option? I just noticed that. I, I never noticed that before. You know, obviously the seat, the only one that like, really makes sense out, out of the Zelda one in Palatine Temple is the Sonic one. See, this one is huge, it has a big room. And also, because if we go, and also some of the stages, like the Mario Galaxy one, see there's the airships in the background? When you play with A players, those airships will not be there. And why? They don't do anything to the coast. See, I can get like a hazard or something, but they don't do anything to the coast. But then, when you switch it over here, you like the side scrolling one, more stages become available. And also, you can pick this one, and this will stop going in the background. This one, 
Like the ship is still flying behind you, so why is it still not flying behind you on this? Uh, um, on the Mario Galaxy one. I don't know. Alright. Nothing interesting about that. There's no fun pages, right? Um, I do like that on um, there. Oh, they did do something that goes to see if they have the male Robin and the female Robin. Um, there's all eight triplings to choose from instead of, you know, just being on skin. There's a there's the male Wii Fit channel and then obviously a female one. And that's all that they did with stuff. Um, I was here to I thought they did some way else. I just can't remember it now. I remember on this review. I remember if I don't, I don't. Alright. So that's just normal smash and all that. Now let's go into the biggest mode outside of online. Um, is with all these modes. Now, I like how you can do two players, so then like, with the classic mode and also mode, you know, you kill two trophies in one run. Instead of, you know, like doing all of them separately in classic mode. Now you can put on effortless and, you know, just do it. I know, like, I may as I have done that. Like with, um, I think it's Donkey Kong. Because I got some mad just doing it on 9.0. So yeah. And also, the, you know, there's, uh, this is where stage level is and all that. Um, you know, um, the customization, the amiibo thingy. I'll get into that a little bit later. And this up here is like when you share like all your clips of what you want the music you can listen to. The CD, the CD should, I should be getting that most. Now, please, let me just click on a single player since more than playing single player or change because the single player has more options. Try saying that a couple times there. Um, so you got classic mode, you know, which is on another one. You got events mode, which is on another one, but the uh, events in single player is different than the, yeah, than the events in multiplayer. So yeah, it's not the same event. It's not actually the same event. So I like how they changed that around. Then you, know, you got the classic also, then you got the home run contest. Um, the play meeting thingy, which you have to do cool smash to unlock. Uh, the duck hunt stage. That was actually not too hard. And then the home run contest. But then you got... Master orders and crazy orders. I went over this before briefly. Master orders you can always go into, but crazy orders. Crazy orders. It's gonna cost you. It's definitely gonna cost you. So what I recommend is doing it because when you're doing the events mode or master orders, you always get a crazy pass. Like you, like. I got a ton of these. I already tried this a couple times, so that's why I may not have as much as I said I do. But yeah, you get a ton of these passes. And Crazy Orders is no joke. If you pay this much and then they you lose, you're just gonna be like, oh my god, why did you do that? You wanna get a pass before you even. You wanna try even some of those master orders to get a pass to even try, attempt Crazy Orders. Because here's the difference. I need to just keep singing the screen because I like the music. But here's the difference. Um, with master orders, like when you fail a thing, um, he he'll just he'll just go, uh, 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 you can't get that code now, and he'll just take away, but you can still continue. But when crazy orders, as soon as you fail once, you're done. He kicks you out. You don't even get to fight him. You know, you know, unlike Master Hand, you know, he just takes away your code, like one of your codes, something like that, or just doesn't let you open just to see what it is. Crazy old Crazy Hand does not let you do that. So that's why I also recommend you have a pass, because one time I fell off by accident, just the first time I'm thinking, okay, I fell off, and, and it just kicked me right out. So, and, and I was so happy that I had a pass, too. Because if it didn't, that means I would pay this much money, and it just would have fell off and, and failed the thing. But the rewards in Crazy Orders is a lot higher there than Master Orders. I think Master Orders, you can only do so many missions before it, it forces you to play them. So with Crazy Hand, you can keep going and going, but the only difference is, 
Every time when you complete a new mission, Crazy Hand keeps getting harder and harder. I noticed that. And I've only beat him once in this mode. That, that's how hard it is. It's really no joke if you're going like for all these keeps and all this stuff. Okay. So yeah, that's... There's, there's pretty much no reason to talk about... Uh, Master Orders. I don't mean, so, so it always starts you off, you know, there's no pain, there's no path. So yeah, you, you, you just jump right in and then you just start doing the missions and... Actually, you don't pay, so... Like I said, it forces you to fight them quicker than there's a master roll. Oh, maybe it's just the prizes are not that, that, not that good either. Is it pretty sure the prizes here are a lot better than the prizes on the map? Now, yeah, classic move. Oh. This can either be very boring or very intense. Why? Very boring is like, ah, just doing this, you know, whatever. Might as well. Let me, let me just go through. But then you go all the way over here. It's like, holy crap, what happened to this dimension? When you make it all the way here, and, and if you make it to the hand, if you make it to Master Fortress, I only made the Master Fortress once. Never beat them. But, but I had made it to the other full thing. I can only beat the score beam slash dinosaur thing. Yeah, I can't remember what it is. The swords and the thingy. But I can never beat that thing that looks like a little bit beforehand. That you know that teleports you everywhere. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, but this is no joke. Like, when you go with deal, you better be prepared. That's all I gotta say about that. Plus you, plus, you gotta have enough money to even accept that, too. And Amiibo, you know what, I'm not actually gonna talk about the Amiibo, because I talk about a lot of my Amiibo reviews. So yeah, the Amiibo, I'm not gonna talk about it. Not it that much as I thought it was. Um, here's like where you just get notifications, you know, blah, blah, blah. These will probably be more... The notification will probably be more useful. Like when DLC starts come out, like with, like with Mewtwo and the Medieval stage and all that other stuff. And also the CDS control, it is actually pretty decent. You know, it's not Pro Control Gamepad. Or Classic Control Classic. Or Classic Control Pro. But it's still a good control. Now one other thing that I also want to mention too. Is the GameCube control. Now people go, oh GameCube control is the best. Um, I played it. I don't see the difference. I don't even have the GameCube adapter. I play at GameStop, but I felt no difference between that and the Pro Controller. They felt identically the same. The only reason why I want to try to get GameCube adapter is so when people come over, you know, when people go over, I could do A Pro Smash easily instead of you know buying um you know um six more you know um four four more Pro Controllers or wait now it would be three more. I guess there's only something we must can be connected. You know, three more pro controls, you know, because there's all fifty dollars that every one fifty. And since I only got, you know, all the XP Yankee controls already, you know, it'd be better just to get the adapter instead of, you know, getting for more of these controls. So yeah, I think that um sums up my review. Um each character like I said has different movesets, so and you always want to go. You always want to go um, down here. Always just, just check if you got a new move. Sure, sure, sure. New move for anyone. Ah, uh, uh, let me see. No, I no, have no. been on that classic mode. So. What you do is you just make this. Uh, you can that. You, know, you can pick any of these, and they can do that right now. And then with the move, well, ah, no. Okay, so she doesn't have any new, nothing new there, nothing, wait. See, but she has this as a new move now. So now I can switch it to that. 
and even though all the other moves are the same, that move will be different. And now, since I would do it, since you have a new move, then you can pick any of these. And this helps like with how fast you are, how high you go, you know, all that stuff. So yeah, it's pretty um, unique because you get custom because I like I like customizing my character. It it's really fun because because your character is not the same. So oh wait, no, I have one. No. Uh, there we go. So, so now like, my Zelda will be different than just the normal Zelda. So yeah, I like how you can customize your character like that. I never like two Zelda, so I don't know why this one. Because I have to take on Fossil Mode, I think I got a wrench or two. Now the wrenches will also... Okay, I got something for that. I guess I got the move for the Big Mario Fireball. Because that's what the picture is. Yeah, so that's like one of Mario's new moves. If I have them on the CDS version, so if I wanted to get Mario on there like that, I would just transfer him over from that version. And also, um, now it's good to me. He mentions the main my dad like this came up deep cut. He hates it. I thought it was funny. But anyway, um uh let's pick Batman. Okay. So yeah, Batman <laughs> can um you know you can have them be brawler, swordman, and gunner. Um I guess Batman is more of a brawler. Right? But he does have weapons. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna give up a gunner actually with Batman. I got all the moves unlocked for um okay, yeah, whatever. I don't know that means, but... Yeah, that's been for Batman. Okay, so anyway. So with the move, see, you get like a bad attack, bad attack, or bad attack. Oh, you not me. I always do that. See, like, I see, it totally changes up your me's different abilities. See, this is like what you can do with every single game. Every single character, they have three different, um, just be up, side, and down. But it's simple to me how now you can customize the outfit. <laughs> that looks so funny. Oh, look at that! Change shot. My, I mean, my move is not. A cuckoo! Yeah, I'm not gonna actually see this though. No. So yeah, that's pretty much all of Smash Bros. Wii U. Um, my whole review. I know I like, didn't show them the gameplay of it. Like, during the review, but I always showed you guys enough gameplay on my channel. Not on Twitch, so. If you was a gameplay, go on Twitch or on my channel. I've been doing that all, all week. And it'll stop slowing down with Smash Bros. I've been getting smashed out. And that's no pun intended because I've really been playing too much of this. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this. Give it a thumbs up. Um I will be starting Captain Toad Treasure Castle on Friday on Twitch. Except unlike my other Twitch experts, how lately it's been like, you know, two hours and then whatever well, minutes. I'm gonna be adding them into like either like like the 20, 20 to 25 minutes depending on like when I finish the mission. So they're not going to be like an hour long, they'll only be like 20 minutes at the least or 25 minutes at the longest. You know, depending if I finish or not. So you know how you can make highlights on Twitch? 
So that's what I'll be doing. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys like this. Hope you guys like this game. I give this game a 8.5 out of 10. And I'll see you guys next time.